Okay, Preston, what do you notice about this in front of you? Um, it's a number line. Okay, what do you notice about the number line that looks different than what the number line that you add and subtract with? Um, these dots and the, that. And the numbers? Yeah. Okay, what's different between the dots and the numbers? This, this is supposed to represent as one, but this does. Okay. So if this is one and this is one, are they the same number line or are they different? They're different. Okay, how are they different? Um, number lines don't have dots. Okay, how are the dots different than the numbers? If you look at the numbers, and this is one, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, now if we counted these, count those. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, oh. four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, very good. Okay, so what do you notice? How many dots did you just count? 60. Okay, and how many numbers are there? 12. So are these the same number line or are they different number lines? Different. They're different number lines, aren't they? 1, 2, 1, 2. What's the difference between 1 and 2 here and 1 and 2 here? Every 5 dots. Every 5 dots. There's one of these numbers. Okay. So are these closer together than these? Yes. Or are they further apart? Closer together. Okay. The dots are closer together than the numbers. Very good. Okay. So we have two different number lines. Just like you've used a number line for addition and subtraction, we're going to use this number line here to do some math as well. But because there's two different number lines, we're going to use two different tools. Okay. This tool is going to be used to read the dots. This tool is going to be used to read the numbers. So we'll practice with this one first. What is it pointing at on the number line? Three. Very good. What's it pointing at now? Five. Very good. Could you make it point to the seven? Okay, how about the 12? Very good. Now how about the one? Very good. Okay, now if I want to use this one and I want to point to the dots, we're going to take this one away for right now and practice with just the dots. Okay? What dot am I pointing at? Fifth one. The fifth dot. Very good. Now which dot am I pointing at? The tenth. The tenth? Okay, can you count for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. So what dot am I pointing at? Fifteen. Very good. Now what dot am I pointing at? The tenth. How did you do that so fast? Because I looked at those two. And what did that tell you? Each one is five, and five plus five is ten. Okay, very good. All right, let's move to this one. Now what dot are we pointing at? Twentieth. How do you know? Because four, five, um, five plus five plus five plus five equals twenty. Very good. Okay. What about if I did something like that? Now what dot would I be pointing at? Eighteen. How do you know? The 
because I counted these fives and I got to 15 and then I counted um, the other three. Okay, very good, very good. 15 plus three equals 18. Nice job. What about now? 25th. Okay, what about now? Very good. Very good. If I was doing this with a whole class or a small group, I would take a lot more time practicing those before I would introduce reading with both tools. Okay, we're going to read both tools. So, if I put this tool here, what is this tool supposed to read? The what? The full. The numbers, right? The numbers. The numbers. Okay, and this tool is supposed to read the dots. The dots. We're going to read the numbers first and then the dots. Okay? So, if I did, we'll just go with this one. If I did this one, what's the number? What's the number? Four. Four. And what's the dots? Thirty. Very good. So, four. Four. Four thirty. Very good. Okay, let's try again. Two fifteen. Very good. Nine oh five. Nine oh five. Why did you put the O in there? Because. The number has to have the zero. Why does it have to have a zero? What are these numbers standing for? What does the O5 stand for? It stands for the zero in the number. Okay. What are you reading here when you're reading the, this double number line? The time. The time. What made you know that this was time? What did you count that told you that this was time? Because when I, when we counted, it went to 60 on a, in, on a regular clock, clock, you know, 60 minutes. In a? In an hour. Very good, very good. So that's what we're practicing. We're practicing reading the time. Let's try another one. 12.50, 12 12.10. Twelve, ten. Very good. Let's try another one. Eleven twenty. Very good. Okay, I'm going to ask you another question. Why do you think we have two different tools that are two different sizes? Because this one is the hour hand and this one's the minute hand. Why do you think that this one is the hour and this one is the minute? Because on a clock, the hour hand is shorter than the minute hand. Okay. Why do you think that is? Why do you think the person that invented the clock made the hour hand shorter than the minute hand? It has something to do with what you said earlier. You want to try something to give you a hint? Okay. I want you to use this hand to try and read the dots. Okay? What? Because the, mi the minute hand, if you use the owl hand, you wouldn't be sure if it was pointing to the dot. Because the dots are? Small. They're closer together and they're smaller, aren't they?